I really can't believe it, but it has been five years, you guys, since I first went vegan. Time has flown. I cannot believe that it has been five years. I mean, I can make a whole video on five years as a vegan, but I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go there in this video. I've pretty much tried every vegan option that I've ever come across. Quite frankly, whenever I see the word vegan anywhere, I'm like instantly like <gasps> freaking out, throwing my money. I'm like, I have to have all of it in every flavor. I gotta try everything. Is anyone else like that? I mean, it's actually a really expensive hobby at this point. But since I've tried so much, I thought what better way to celebrate five years as a vegan than to make a video where I share with you guys the best of the best um, you could say the vegan creme de la creme. And you know, I also just want to showcase how freaking easy it is to be vegan in 2018. Easier than ever, easier than any other time in history to be vegan. Um, so what's your excuse? No, <laughs> this video is not going to be preachy. <laughs> We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. I'm just try trying to sprinkle a little positivity, you know, look at all of these options. There are so many options. So maybe, you know, take animals off your plate a little bit more and try some of these things. And then, you know, eventually just like stop eating them completely. <laughs> Okay, I know this is the world's longest intro and I personally hate when people ramble on in the intro So I don't know why I'm still freaking talking, but I do have two more things I just want to quickly like little disclaimer before we get into the video First thing I want to mention is that all of these items are marketed as vegan. I am not including accidental vegan items like Oreos and like that kind of stuff in this video because I mean I just want to I just want to help the companies that are actually proudly using the vegan label and kind of headed in that direction versus this like crap that's just accidentally vegan because they're too cheap to use real dairy. It's just gross like I don't really want to promote any food like that. And two, I know I have to say this because people will be all up on my case. Um, these food items are snacks. They are not staples in the vegan diet. They're processed. Most of these are junk. It should be eaten in moderation. This is not health food, okay? Vegans, just like non-vegans, we have our impulses. We have our things that like, as we're eating, we're like, I'm probably taking a week off my life. But you know what? It's, it's fine. Vegans need to have junk food too. Okay, that's it. The intro is over, guys. You made it, you survived. You probably skipped forward, but <laughs> if you didn't, congratulations. But let's get into the list. I think I have like 40 items, so you better like pull up a seat, have some tea, listen to this while you're putting your makeup on or something, just, it's gonna be a long one. I have to start with cheese because cheese is the most important thing. It is the biggest mistake you could possibly make when you go vegan, all right? You gotta find the right cheese. And I absolutely hate to talk shit, but I just have to warn you guys, do not, do not, do not, do not go out and get Daya cheese. It is so bad. I don't care what anyone says. I don't know how people think that cheese is good or okay even. It's not. It's gross. Um, Dea, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but please take a note and reformulate similar to Follow Your Heart and Field Rose because they've got it down. I don't know what you guys got going on, but it's just not working out. Um, and it's a shame that they are the most popular selection. Like they're the easiest to find. Usually if you go to like a pizza place, like 800 degrees, they use it. And I'm just like, oh man, no. Now my absolute favorite, and you'll be able to tell by how much I have of it, is the follow your heart slices, okay? Wow, I literally like this cheese more than I ever liked real cheese which is crazy because I was pretty into cheese. It comes in quite a few flavors. My personal favorite is the smoked Gouda. You can tell because there's just one little sad, lonely slice left here. It's so good. Um, I also have garden herb, pepper jack, and I did have some American until I made a grilled cheese with it because that is my favorite cheese to make a grilled cheese with. All right, moving on, next we have cream cheese. So for cream cheese, my favorite is Kite Hill. I actually don't know of any other brands that are vegan and 
even moderately good. <laughs> so be careful. Uh, Kite Hill, this is the chive flavor. Really, really good. You'll see it has lots of chives in it. I love putting this on an everything bagel. Ooh. Next we have yogurt. And there are actually quite a few good vegan yogurt alternatives, but by far, and I mean by far, I've tried about like, I wanna say five of them. Out of the five, without a doubt, Kite Hill is the winner. It's so good. I love this more than I love real yogurt. I know that's kind of annoying that I keep saying that, but, but I'm being honest. I really, really love these. They're very creamy. They're almost kind of like a liquid cheesecake. They have a cheesecake type flavor and fluffiness, and I just mm, love. And it's always a good way to get in a little bit of probiotics, all of that. Cannot recommend these enough. But back to the cheese. I got a few more cheese products. Um, Miyoko's mozzarella is also a very good cheese if you want to make a pizza or if you want to shred it up, put it in a salad. Um, sadly, the little one that I had in my fridge is now covered in mold. <laughs> At least you know there's not a whole lot of preservatives going on. This cheese is so good on pizza. I like to shred this and make this on a pizza with some vegan sausage. Mmm, perfect. So I'm really curious, have you guys ever tried vegan cheese and what did you think? I'm asking my non-vegan viewers as well. Um, I would love to know if maybe you tried Dea and was like, vegan cheese is gross. Um, what was your experience or what kind did you try? What did you think about it? I'm very curious to know. Now we're talking mayo. This is so good, okay? I've only tried a few of the vegan mayos. I've tried um, Hampton Creek, which was pretty good, and I've tried Follow Your Heart, which is great. This is still, in my opinion, the best because they use aquafaba, which if you didn't know what that was, I think it's aquafaba, aquafaba. I don't know, that sounds like I said it wrong. Anyway. It's chickpea secretion. <laughs> Doesn't sound sexy, but, but it's really good. So chickpeas um, release this kind of fluid that when whipped becomes insanely light and fluffy. So I did not word that in an appealing way. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's what it is. So this is a super light, fluffy mayo. Tastes exactly like normal mayo, except you're not eating dairy. And it's really good on everything. It makes me want sandwiches. And as a vegan, sandwiches are kind of something that goes because meat and cheese and you know, it's just, I don't know. But whenever I have this, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll get, go get like some vegan lunch meat and just have a little classic sandwich. This next thing is definitely in my top five. Like if you only, I'll, I'll try to note the, my top five throughout this video, but if you can only try five things, this is in my top five, guys. <sighs> Follow your heart, vegan Thousand Island dressing. Oh my God, I put this on everything. I'm not exaggerating. I could honestly eat spoonfuls of this, but I won't because it's really high in fat. <laughs> but oh my God, it's so good. The thing that I like to put this on, I mean, I, I truly put it on everything. Sandwiches, burgers, uh, can't think of anything else, which is not really supporting my point that I put it on everything. <laughs> But one kind of creative way that I like to use this is to make animal style fries inspired by In-N-Out. So I get like some fries, some grilled onions, slather this all over it, and then melt some shredded cheese. Oh my God. Moving on to much more exciting things. Um, ice cream. So with vegan ice cream, there's really none of it that I've tried that I've been like, oh my God, this is gross. Um, but as far as ice cream that is most like real ice cream, I think the award hands down goes to Ben and Jerry's and they have so many flavors and I think they're doing really well because they just keep pushing out more, which makes me so, so, so excited. But anyway, these are my two current favorites, peanut butter and cookies and Cherry Garcia. I love chocolate cherry anything. This is just so good. Another ice cream treat that I absolutely love is Luna and Larry's Salted Caramel Bars. Wow, this is pretty much like a Magnum bar, but vegan, you know, as you can imagine, 
really good. One last ice cream product and then we will get into meat. And there's a lot of meat, so hope you're ready for that. Um, anyway, one more ice cream thing. These are cones. They are from the brand Tofuti. Tofuti? Tofuti. Tofuti. That just, just doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. I gotta say, these are not like holy shit good. They're probably about like a 7.5 out of 10, but I chose to include them because for me, um, ice cream cones or like drumstick cones are something that remind me of my childhood. And for that reason, I really, really, really enjoy these. There's a lot of mock meat on the market that I think is just so good. And I know I'm gonna have my non-vegans out there be like, if you're vegan, why do you like, why do you want to still eat meat? And it's like, I am, I have never said that meat does not taste good, okay? It's just, I don't think my taste buds are more important than someone's life. That's just me. If I, I mean, if I can get some burgers 